Welcome to another video making Songbringer. This is everybody's favorite wizard, Wizard Fu, coming at you from wherever the heck I am right now. <clears throat> I'm still working on this arena, the boss fight, the new boss, and um, all the new enemies. It's been a lot of refinement and stuff going on uh, to get this all just right, but damn, it is starting to be fun. There's some cool new enemies. The, the blobs I was just working on in the last video are now poisonous, and then they combine into this like lightning blob, which is super cool. Um, <clears throat> right now, I'm actually trying to catch a little bit of a bug. Um, sometimes when you transition between these waves in the arena, um, the, uh, the, it won't actually, well, when you're supposed to transition, the transition doesn't quite kick in after you kill all the enemies. Um, it particularly happens with a couple enemies. Um, so there's got to be some, like, trick to it. Uh, but I've noticed that, um, the index and the intensity of the music does reset each time, except for the, these two moves. So I'm thinking that might be a huge clue, because the index and the intensity of the music um, is very closely tied to how many enemies on the, are on the screen, which is very closely tied to uh, the areas that will be considered complete, and therefore the next wave being triggered. See how the index and intensity just went back to zero right there? This is a good wave. I just want to make sure this this guy here, um, this left viper, sometimes doesn't do his animations properly. Let's make sure it does that. Yeah, sorry, a cool. Okay, so find a bit of code that resets the index and the intensity. Set a breakpoint there to figure out why it's not getting triggered sometimes. I think this should uh, indirectly lead to fixing the wave, not changing sometimes. little changes there getting checked in. <clears throat> Where does it reset that intensity again? Index. There's um set music param music index might be this one. This is when it gets created. It starts with the ambience index, okay. Some fluxes. Fluxes also call this. I don't think it's this one actually. Or is it? Phase open? No, that's called once. Phase slide, definitely not. Phase fade in, no. Elevator up, elevator down. It's none of those, so it's probably not this music index param. What about the set music params? Does this set the index? I don't think it does. Let's do a search for all of just, oops. Intensity. That's cool. Okay, so we got, oh, collision system. Now there is, this has got to be it. Check completion. Yes, I knew these were intimately tied together. Oh, well, well hell, we can just do this. Set parameter. If name equals index or name equals intensity what 
Let me see if I can fix that. That's been breaking like all the time. So when I do um, smart breakpoint, if I'm in I turn, it goes and it's open. Oh, there's a quick open. Keystrokes file. Oh, this is only half a second. It waits until it presses enter. That's why. It's gotta be why. Let's make that a whole three seconds, two seconds maybe at least. Let's make sure that refreshes the config. Nice. Okay, and let's just give it a little whirl here. Make a couple of what goes think on. Okay, let's do that search again. I'm still getting used to my new keyboard. It's got the tinier keys. These wireless Mac keyboards tinier than the one I had before. Okay, set so a breakpoint there. Yeah, wait a couple seconds, boom, boom, oh, it worked. I think that whole extra second and a half is what we needed. Oh no, not that one. And any time it ever sets the index or intensity. Cool. We knew it was going to do that at the beginning, of course. It's being called from phase open. Here's from area create. Here's from phase open again. What is, oh, is this an animate? This is going to be called a million times. Let's turn that off for a second. I'm getting it again. Take animate from every sit. Oh, oh. Hmm, okay. Oh, okay. This gets called all the time. All right, so if I just let this go, it's gonna be called every single tick. Let's do, let's change this up a little bit. It's only break if it's zero. Checking this exactly. I kind of already found it in music system. This is in music system animate. What is the outer condition for getting into this loop? Right, we got for not paused. Basically, just for not paused. So if we're not paused and we're playing boss music or mini boss music and there is no currently, there's no boss on the screen. gets the completion factor and sets all its parameters by those. Hmm.
System animate. Oh, the boss is it? What? Oh. Oh my gosh. It's. I think it's detecting the boss before it ever places it on the screen. This must be Ren. I know, it's a drop through. Oh. Drop three is not an actual boss. Hint to find boss, why are you? This is enlightening. If it has an explosion size. Hmm. So I'm I'm tempted to change it to this. This would be a little more accurate. Checking the boss's profile for the actual boss boolean. But if I were to do this, it would change a lot of the game. Like this is a very potentially dangerous thing to change. Like pff, who knows what the hell could happen? Because there's this is called a lot. This is dependent on a lot. So. Probably a smarter thing to do would be to go find the boss and then see, if, double check that the boss is an actual boss right here. If I want to make this a little more accurate. Question is, do I need to? Well, okay, so. What's going on here? We're setting intensity to zero, even though there is a boss. Wait, what wave is it? Okay, there is a drop three coming up. Let's check something. Let's set a breakpoint here. The very first time it gets in here, and we'll see if the boss is already active, even though he's not part of the first wave. Might actually be. Oh, good. Okay, so. There's no boss yet. I'm out, I'm out after a few tries. Oh. Let's let it run a little, a little bit. Okay, so yeah. Well, that's good. At least, um, at least the first wave that doesn't have any bosses yet. It's not finding the boss. Why isn't it? I thought that every enemy was already. Maybe they're not. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Until the next wave is created, that's when. Yeah. So I know the, the way the waves work is that it creates all the enemies, puts them all off screen, like really far to the left, 
And then once there, it's time for that entity to appear, to warp in, then it moves it on screen, warp, does its warp in and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I was, I'm glad that, it, but it's not creating them until the wave actually starts, okay. So perhaps the reason why the intensity and the index were not working correctly this whole time was simply just that it wasn't, it was detecting bosses erroneously, at least as far as the music system is concerned. So let's do this. Just double check. I'm just going to run it and pay attention to the index and intensity parameters as we progress through the waves. Make sure they, they grow. Start at zero. They grow as you kill more enemies. Okay, so the question is, do I want it to go from zero to one for each wave, or do I like it the way it is where it's going from zero to one over all of the waves? I guess for now, let's leave it how it is, <clears throat> because that's the most simple thing to do. And then um, the next thing let's do is work on, 
I just want it to be reset to intensity zero as soon as you start fighting Ren. So we should have saw, we should, with this breakpoint right here, we should have seen, let's run it, fight Ren, hit a breakpoint there, see why it's not resetting the index. find him <laughs> it finds to drop the threes but not the oh because he doesn't have an explosion size Maybe I should make this function smarter. I'm doing it. Let's make this fine boss take a it's using Take a little boolean, default to false, so it just behaves as it always did. There we go. So we've got, by default, the old behavior. If we pass in true, we can find it more accurately. And we don't need this. Let's get that, make sure it's all compiled, go to the Xcode, disable the breakpoint, get ourselves all the way to Ren. So my intuition was wrong there. It didn't have anything to do, the intensity and index music parameters didn't have anything to do with this other bug where the waves don't trigger. But it does seem to happen almost every time when I'm in this sped up time mode. Transition out of the drop.
Index Zero. Yay. Set a breakpoint. Make sure that behaves. Got boss. This should be red. Yes. Let's see what we got for his calculations. Boss position minus hero position, square intensity, his index is how much health he has, his panning is where his X position is. It's looking good. Let's just pay attention to the values. Fighting. So his intensity is how close you are. That's what I'm okay. His index is how much health he has. So So I want to lower Ren's health and this point at which he goes into meditation. Like if we go and set his that point right there to 10% of his health instead of 50% of his health, the music system will be more accurate. Meaning you'll hear the drums get all intense as he's getting closer and closer to that instead of him not getting intense because he never really gets to that HP less than 0.5. So let's go, let's check if there's any other checks to, nope, that's the only if HP check. So how much did he have before? He had like 800 hit points, which was 200. And meaning, okay, so before we had to do 400 hit points of damage or or you could say 100 if it, in, in terms of floating point right here. So if we're only going to 10%, then he needs to only have basically like 110-ish hit points. I'm trying to think of how to do this math. There's some quick little inverse, I'm sure. It's... Oh, so if 90%, that's 1 over 90 times 100. So basically 111 hit points. So, right? So if he has 111 hit points and you multiply that by. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you subtract out from here, if you subtract out 100, you are at 11, which is about 10%. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So we want this to be 111 point. Well, just let's just leave it at 111. There. So that should be enough so that when he's at 10% of his health, you've done 100 hit points of damage. confirm and um, let me listen to the music make sure the drums get intense
going up over all the waves is okay. It's a unique fight. Okay, so the easiest thing to pay attention to is the drums. The drums will get all doubled up as the boss gets close to uh, about half health. So if 
he never warps away if he's doing like other attacks and stuff like that. So it's really a matter of timing and all that. But it's just kind of like extra AI smartness for him to be able to do. Or even a ghost sword. The ghost sword gets near you. to 42 hit points out of 444. I really don't think there's any way you can do 
What does a bomb do? It's not gonna. Get it. The bomb does like six or eight. Six times four is like twenty-four. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to. What a super bomb. Super bomb does. Eight explosive, which is 36, so he's just above, just above being able to be killed with one hit of a super bomb. Good. Okay, so let's meditate and check. Okay, that was uh, kind of a long process just to fix one little bug, but uh, at least it's done. Let's get this stuff cleaned up and we'll get on to the next bug. Right, another thing crossed off the list. Okay, so let's see what we can do to fix this whole thing with the wave not triggering its change. Ah, uh, let's, this is, man, we made a lot of progress on this whole arena in the last three weeks. <laughs> Jeez, it's taken, gosh, maybe two months worth of Two months worth of stuff just for this one like room. I'm kind of getting tired of working on the same room. Turn on some light. Well, the good news is. Almost finished working on this room. So it typically happens that it gets stuck in the drop three wave and it, it helps to have the, the debug time going all crazy fast. I've seen it happen though without the debug time going crazy fast. So that's why this needs to be fixed. How can I catch this bug? What's happening is that maybe there's a foe Still active. It's the only thing I can think of. The drop threes. Oh, are they doing prevent? Compl 
application. Hold on. These guys have an explosive ending, but they're not technically bosses. So let me see if this. Let's get things set up so we can try and do this as fast as possible. Hopefully this works where it still has the bug if we drop straight into the wave with the drop threes. So let's run. Speed up time. Kill them as fast as possible. to that time. I just gotta run it a couple times and see if this we get it to break. Get it to uh, have the bug, I mean. that we can get the bug with it dropping straight into this wave. So we'll take a quick little break, be right back, and we will start debugging this issue.
First thing to confirm is if it's doing this prevent completion. The prevent completion is just something that kind of delays the ending of a boss fight until after the explosions have all gone off and then boom it triggers the ending so that the you can gain the item and the, all that kind of stuff. So it's killing, this is probably the, this is one of them, probably the first one to die. They're all dying at the same time. Because we use the cheat command. All right, what's up? Good, it's not a boss, it's not the final boss. It's all at once, there's a delay. Let's see what's going on here. Got this scheduled before take, remove, we want to set a breakpoint here, because this is where this is where it should be saying, "Yeah, this area is all complete." It might be because the next wave is already going now. What's its total duration? Total duration two seconds. It's waiting two seconds. Oh, but it would have to check the completion before. It would create the next wave, so it's probably not the next wave of enemies either. It could be bombs going. Oh man, I don't know. Right, let's see what's see what we can find just stepping through this. Play the music. It's not a boss, so it doesn't do prevent completion. Okay. That's good to know. What else did we skip over? Sund. Hmm. Let me step out. Save menu. Items. Where are we at? Did we do bossy? Okay, so this checks if that wasn't a boss. All right, so we wait a couple seconds. Here we are checking the completion after two seconds after killing all these guys. Let's see what we get. Completion factor, 0.3. Obviously, it's not going to be complete. There's a one foe still alive. God, I wish I would have stepped through there.
Yes. Who are you? It is a bomb. I knew it. Okay, so the bomb. What? Why would the... This return true for the bomb. Oh, it returns true if there is no health component. So bombs, bombs that are sitting there about to explode are considered alive, technically something I don't want to mess with. Um, how to resolve this? Either Give it a health component, or at least give it the no lock flag. Let's give that a shot. Ah, this is one of those things that changes like a lot though. It's like, or it, it has the potential to change a lot. Like changing this could affect other areas of the game. It makes me think like, is there a smarter way to do this? Is there, huh? Let's try it. Let's try it first.
Okay, so let's find a way to consistently do this every time. I'm gonna count how many times it takes to kill these guys using the cheat code. Okay, let's, let's count with slower time. It's hard to tell. Okay, let's do a little check here. Let's turn that off. Do the same thing. It should fail. If anything, I guess this would be an improvement in other areas of the game. I think we're okay here. The only thing we would change is this bomb foe. Maybe we can just go check out a few more areas, reuse the bombs, see if there's any obvious issues that crop up, check this arena one more time. One, one, two, one. Two, two. not really gonna mess with other stuff too much like if anything maybe in another area there was an issue where it didn't quite trigger the ending of the room and you would notice that most if you were locked in a room
So if I can leave, let's go to a room where we get locked in. I don't know where you get locked in and have bombs though. And now let's keep exploring. Zero zero six. I always try and debate as much as I can over these changes that can affect much of the game because I'm just trying to rack my brain and be like. Break. Does this affect players in some way? Is this actually changing the game, or is this just a bug? No. Let's go play the arena with it as usual. Let's check we got yeah, it's a pretty minimal change here. All right, let's let's do it in fast forward mode because that always seemed to be to help it to occur. Let's make sure there's no other waves that we might. Like I was thinking maybe those those viper fires. Vipers leave the fiery trail. Need those guys. Another one off the list, yeah.
time is it? Almost dinner time. So I was going to add a spotlight to guide the player out of, during the arena waves, but I fixed the issues where you would need a spotlight. I'm not sure if I really want to do this anymore. Because some... Oh. I guess I can at least look into it. It uses a boss timer in the render system. And then, okay. It sets the master scale and the primary strength of the light. What's the master scale? It just also affects the primary scale of the light. Oh, that also affects all lights. Okay, so all lights get affected by the master scale. And then the primary strength. Is only the first light. The big light. So we would need, um, if we were to add a spotlight guiding the player through the waves, we would need to set up something here so that the master scale doesn't affect that one individual light. Do this. Do it with a flag, a light flag. Remove transient, no remove. Like not affected by boss. Something like this. I think of the right word here. Right phrase. No extinguish. No. No master scale, no boss timer. No boss timer, let's just call that. Okay. 
easy enough to add a flag. It takes a minute to compile while we're streaming. That's all right. Okay, so master scale. Here's the lights. Auto this scale needs to auto underscore master scale. And if the light has the flag, no boss timer, then master scales one. This is a float. We use it. Okay, let's check this out. If, um, let's create a, I mean, when it creates the create light uh, sconce, let's make all the light sconces. It just uses a sconce. Let's make the light sconces have that flag, so we need to be able to set it be a Constants. All right. And then we will go to the entities. Make all the sconces not affected by the boss timer. Just to see if this even works. And then if so, we can temporarily add a light while we're switching waves that has this cool new boss timer flag. Okay, so the sconce does appear to have a flag.
think. I think it was like the seventh bit. What's flux alpha? Zero. has full strength in master scale. Oh, hey, they're working this time. Maybe uh, it just didn't get built in last time. Ugh, I think it got a bit. Yep, oh, uh, there they're working now. Okay, good. It works. Yay. Guide the player. Make sure what we've done so far is clean. Looks right. Okay, except for entries. We'll take that off now. Sconce. Okay, so what we would do is um, every time we do set up a wave, probably. This is where it like sets the data for all the tiles that are going to be activated and stuff. Why did this get called from? Great names, right. Yeah, okay. Kill everybody. It's gonna set up the wave again and also being called from creating names. Okay, 
So yeah, this would be an appropriate place to call, um, to create a temporary light entity guiding the player. Let's just always put it in the middle of the screen. Is it lighting up all blue? Oh, not used, okay. And then we'll go create an entity. With the no boss timer flag, and then we call this delete. Is it remo yeah, delete entity? Means that back after certain delay um, can we get the render system boss timer Something like this. I will put a light right in the middle of the screen. This might be kind of a weak light. I don't know what the what's the offset. Get boss element. Coco City render state. Not have a render system? Or maybe not. Anything else? No position command. Chase. Chase. This is giving me signs that maybe this code doesn't belong in this file. Probably should move it. Like what? Three signs. This is like a three strikes you're out type thing. Well, let's see if it works, yeah?
for light component. We got size, offset, color, flags. So this is the size, X, Y. Let's make a super big X and no offset. So it deletes when um, uh, the wave. I know this is in collision system somewhere. A lot of wave. There is sky bridge waiting. This keeps delaying the boss time. It really would just be best if the render system, when it kills its own, when it's done with its boss timer. over all the lights. Such a good typer, eh? Typist. A little documentary movie about me called The Typist. I think there already was a documentary movie like that. Maybe it was a drama movie.
Do we have the area? Gotta have, yeah, there it is. There's a function called shrink light in there. Shrink light. Yeah, duration. Do do do. Once this just gets called a bunch of times. It's run on game scene layer. It's kind of janky. Shrink light component. Yeah, this will work though. Well, oh, what about this remove light? Delay duration. Shrinking the light. Oh, this is a lot else. Shrink light. Ah, oh, shrink light just shrinks it. Okay, so we do want to do a remove light. Well, remove light doesn't work unless it does has a render component. Okay, we can shrink light and then delete. Give that just a tiny bit of extra delay before it deletes it. Ah, oh. let's see if that looks a little smoother. Let's have a little fun. Let's make two entities. Let me get like an X. Well, it's more like a plus. Can't do diagonal lights. I have to change everything. I'm not gonna change everything just for that. one should be super skinny give it more of like an X shape 
Love you too, Skinny. make it so each one of these waves has its own place that it's guiding you to. And if it's zero, it doesn't do it. The first wave, we don't want to light. The four drop threes, we do. Two fire, but let's put a light for every one. I think the only one we don't want to do in the middle of the screen is the four acid dragons. We want that to be. This to be like a third of the screen or so. And then the four drop threes. Let's like choose a side and then maybe just we'll go upper left. Who knows? Doesn't really matter. Any one of the corners kind of. So we will go like, let's say a third of X and two thirds of Y. Let's try that. I pause in the middle, I pause in the middle. Let's do middle for the other two. I think this one's red. Okay, Let's see what we got for the lights. Ah, <sighs> I wanted to be lazy and not do this, but I did it anyway. I guess I'm proud of myself for that. Good job, self. Way to do another thing. Even though you want to be lazy. Good, okay, so the first one had nothing. We want, we want one there. Yeah. Guide me to this. Oh, wow, why is this all lit up? I'm gonna go there. That's not even subtle. Good. Fire Vipers. Let's go. Maybe 
was so slow while running the game and uh, was just crazy slow. We want to be like x is 5 for half and y is a third. So we got. Okay, this needs to be like point. Four. This needs to be like point six. And I'm thinking this, I don't know. slight changes this is the one that I'm most concerned about being correct or not oh but wow this is like ready to check in there's nothing else I'm, that would be left to refine here Acid dragons say point seven.
I'm not checking it. I'm not checking that again. All right, let's let's check over the code. Check it in. Oh, this thing. Probably a better place for this. It's not really an X, but who cares? I'm calling it Spotlight X. Once again, I'm doing this kind of out of principle because I added a whole bunch of headers, you know, and it was like, oh, in order for me to put this code in this file, I need to add these headers. It's like a, this is like a instant warning sign like you shouldn't be doing this you know what I mean so I'm making this proper My impressive typing skills. Shazzle, it needs an area. Oh, we just get the area. Okay, then back here, we don't need like component, position component, or render system. That's cleaner. That's way better. Wait for it to compile. Check it one last time. So we can look over the code first.
Can include in NIMS. All right. Last run. I know I said that the last time I ran. Boom, got a light. Fade out. Yes. Boom. All right, I'm done. Thanks for watching this video, as always. And uh, I appreciate you, you, individually, you. I appreciate you. Um, so yeah, we'll see you later. Wizard Fu out. <laughs>